Do you want to know seven reasons why high-tech Vasil Lomachenko will defeat the Axeman Nicholas Walters? If so, stay tuned to this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I just dropped seven reasons Andre Ward defeats Sergey the Crusher Kovalev. That's my opinion. Now, every time I do the seven reasons series, make sure you guys subscribe. I always get some resistance, people on the other side that don't agree with my prediction. And it's a prediction. Just like Highlander, there can be only one. This is my honest opinion. And like Scarface said, all I have is my balls and my word. And I don't break them from no one. Huh? Okay, so this is my opinion. I think Lomachenko is a talented fighter. I think Nicholas Walters is a talented fighter. It's a pick em fight, 50-50 fight, but somebody has to win. So you guys can get mad. This is my opinion. I think Lomachenko will defeat Walters. Now, as usual, this is in no particular order. Let's get it in. Number one, Lomachenko's footwork. Now, one thing I noticed early on, I told you, I even made a video about this. Lomachenko, to me, he has shades of a lot of different fighters all put into one. Like, I could tell he's a student of the game he studied. There's shades of Willie Pep, Roy Jones Jr., Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao. And his ability to use his feet to get in position for his offense is very, very good. And Lomachenko is an exceptional athletic guy who knows how to get in position. Very light on his feet. So I think the footwork of Lomachenko is going to be a problem for really anyone at 130 and it's just because he's real fidgety there's there's a lot of shades of, of kind of like a Pacquiao I think he has more educated feet sometimes Pacquiao is more I would say awkward with him jumping in and moving to the side Lomachenko knows exactly where he's at at all points of the ring and that's what you expect from elite level person Nicholas Walters I do believe on fight night will probably be the bigger person even though they both recently moved up to 130 Walters has been there just a tad longer fought Jason Sosa I thought he won that fight they scored it a draw but he'll be the bigger man so he's going to have to catch Lomachenko and Lomachenko is really good with getting off his shots number two it takes more to defeat a champion. Now, this summer, Lomachenko moved up, first fight at 130, beat Rocky Roman Martinez in emphatic fashion. He dominated. I didn't give Roman Martinez any rounds. That's very impressive because you look at it, it was his first fight in a new division. Rocky Martinez is a veteran. He's been in there with Mikey Garcia, Orlando Salido. And the difference that I see with like a Lomachenko is, notice Salido is a puncher. And he kind of fights dirty. He's also a veteran, fought guys like Juan Manuel Marquez, etc., Mikey Garcia. But Salido, his fights with with uh, Roman Martinez were all kind of wars. I thought Salido beat Rocky Martinez on the Floyd undercard. They fought on the in the rematch. I thought Salido should have won that fight. But nonetheless, it went the decision. And it was kind of a back and forth fight versus Lomachenko. There was a clear cut separation where there was no rounds to give Rocky Martinez. He was never really in the fight. He got dominated. So I think to me, it's going to be harder for Walters to defeat a champion like that, right? Not to mention, I think Lomachenko is the guy that HBO top rank is really promoting and pushing, putting a lot of interest in and a lot of promotion and money behind. And that was evident in the first negotiations where they offered him more money. This was before the Lomachenko versus Salido fight before he moved up and became a champion. So at that point, when he wasn't a champion, they were still willing to give him more money, which is why the fight fell through in the first place with Walters, right? So I think it's going to take more from Walters. He's going to have to be on his AA game because to win a decision against a favorite in boxing, it's really proven to be harder. Like Canelo, for example, you could be a lot of and most people, or a lot of people thought Lada beat Canelo, but he's not going to win on the scorecards. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to take more to defeat a champion, plus a champion that has had a lot of backing behind him. Number three, Nicholas Walters layoff. And at an elite level, when you're fighting an elite competition, maybe not a Rod Salka type, but when you're fighting a fellow elite top of his game or her game person, I think every little detail needs to be examined and I think the fact that Lomachenko has been more um, I would say more active than Nicholas Walters who's had a long layoff he hasn't fought since Jason Sosa and he 
he just he's not fighting as frequently as as Lomachenko so I think the activity will play a big part because they're meeting this year and Walters hasn't fought and he's immediately going back who knows what he did in his offseason I don't know if he parties or you know what I mean he, he did gain weight I made an ego weight watchers which leads me into number four Nicholas Walters offseason weight now again I did the ego weight watchers and he's come down to weight now but the fact of from Jason Sosa to about May, he ballooned up in weight and he looked extremely big, much bigger, clearly bigger than 130. I think every little thing, like like I said, has to be examined and weight will be a factor because being big doesn't necessarily help you, especially against a guy like Lomachenko. The very first point I told you guys was Lomachenko's footwork. So if you're a bigger person and you're sluggish and, and Lomachenko to me has good speed overall, he's, he's very athletic, then that might work against you because how are you going to corner this dude and he's like this jackrabbit and you're much bigger than him so i think that's going to be a problem for walters his offseason weight and the fact that lomachenko has been probably more disciplined and more active so his weight he doesn't really have to worry about coming down too much in weight and he's he's newer to the division so i think the activity of lomachenko and the fact that he's he's neutralized and maintain more of a steady weight will be an advantage for Lomachenko. Number five, Lomachenko better at the weight. What I mean, not saying he's better than Walters at the weight, but I think he got to a point where he was a little bit too big for 126 and he was having to do more to make that weight. And sometimes that takes something off of your punching power and stuff like that. Because you notice when he moved up to fight Rocky Martinez, he looked a lot better like you know what i'm saying what i mean by better like he fought on the pacquiao undercard in macau china i think it was pacquiao algeria or something or pacquiao rios one of those and lomachenko he was in there with just some random tough journeyman and he didn't stop him i know he hurt his hand or whatever but then he fought a guy who was a lot more seasoned in rocky martinez and a champion and he stopped him so i think having i think he's a little bit fresher at this new weight because he has to do less cutting that additional four pounds and if you know anything about boxing and cutting weight sometimes those last few pounds are the hardest to go and Lomachenko he spent a good amount of time of his his amateur career so he's he's getting closer to 30 than he is young 20s so sometimes those additional four pounds play a factor so I think he'll ultimately be fresher at this weight I think he can make it a lot easier you could take it easy on your diet you might be able to eat this steak this one night whereas when you were making 126 you probably couldn't so a lot of boxing is psychological how happy you are and your mood if you're like miserable because you're having to eat very light and run a lot more and sweatsuits and all kinds of stuff to make weight then you're not going to be as happy you're not going to be a happy camper but if you have to do a little bit less to make weight then generally you see it show in the the fighter and their attitude right like i think if canelo moved up to 160 he would probably be happier at the weigh-ins you know what i mean because he's having to do a little bit less instead of like crashing down and um just want to get on the scale and hurry up and get off number six lomachenko gets off first and this is very important walters see this is the thing walters definitely has a chance in there but lomachenko he he has a good accuracy and he usually gets off first and he, he throws combination punches and punches and bunches and then he might be out back to the footwork before you know it so it's just going to be hard for nicholas walters if he's doing the stalking lomachenko being a good counter puncher and fast i would probably say he's probably faster overall with his feet and and his hands than walters it's going to be hard for walters to get off and that's just kind of how I see it, especially if you're throwing punches, you're going to have to punch with him. And it's always going to be dangerous because he's a good counter puncher. And a lot of times people get gun shy when it comes to good counter punchers with accuracy. They're like, man, I don't want to get hit upside the head. And this guy's pretty accurate. If you look at Lomachenko's very last fight against the champion, he landed close to 60% of his power shots against a guy who is probably more known for being a, a pressure fighter or someone who throws power shots he landed like 57.9 percent of his power shots that's very high right so he definitely throws the right combination of punches and Lomachenko said it himself his idol is Roy Jones Jr and it shows I seen him triple up on a hook 
to do stuff like that, it takes a level of skill. So I think ultimately he's going to be busier than Nicholas Walters. And finally, the last point, very important one, number seven, Lomachenko's timing. And I told myself, unless I see huge like chinks in Lomachenko's armor in future fights, I'm probably not picking against him. And that's because I did pick against him versus Gary Russell. I was like, man, Gary Russell is fast as hell. And he throws, he gets busy in combination punches. I've seen um, Gary Russell, I think he fought Estrada. He, he, he looks good when he's doing combination punches. Lomachenko nullified and neutralized that whole arsenal and had Gary Russell looking like a totally different fighter. And you've seen Gary Russell after that bounce back and stop a champion who stopped Abner Matas and Johnny Gonzalez, who was tall and known for kind of like a Mexican style tough guy. And Gary Russell later stopped him and is now a champion. And he stopped a Patrick Hyland, who was like kind of a journeyman or whatever, an unknown commodity. But the, the point is, Gary Russell, his future performances, he looks good. But when he fought Lomachenko, he looked horrible you know what i mean lomachenko's timing was just impeccable and that's a guy with an immense amount of speed i do think at 126 gary russell jr hand speed wise is faster than nicholas walters at 130 not saying walters has bullshit speed but i don't think it's the hand speed of a guy like gary russell jr i think gary russell jr has one of the fastest hands in boxing you know what i mean and the fact that Lomachenko did what he did with Gary Russell Jr. makes it extremely hard for me to pick against Lomachenko because of his timing and accuracy and the other six reasons that I just gave. So that's a total of seven reasons why I believe high-tech Vasil Lomachenko will beat Nicholas Walters. Now, I could be wrong, but I could also be very right. And if Nicholas Walters proves me wrong, then so be it. I'll make a video about that. It's nothing personal, always business. Let me know what you guys think. Boxing Ego, seven reasons why Vasil Lomachenko defeats the Axe Man, Nicholas Walters. May the best man win. You guys drop your predictions below. Let me know if you agree with me. Let me know if you disagree with me. I can't wait to see this fight. Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you share the video, like the video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.